We've been running two workshops over two weekends. We're in Manchester and Birmingham, and we've got about 30 people in each of the workshops, and we're gonna be discussing our model for future Manchester and future Birmingham, and hearing what concerns people and also what excites people about our vision. I didn't know things like this ever took place where you ask the community about how you want it improved. So it's just interesting to know that stuff like this actually goes on. I'm excited to see some changes because I think that everything's been the same for a little while and everyone's been a bit uncertain on where things are going. Being a taxpayer here, being a resident of this city, it's my responsibility to provide feedback for the economic growth. Throughout the workshops, people are going to be talking about three key themes. They're going to be talking about jobs and skills and how they need to change in a more productive city. They're going to be talking about transport and in particular public transport. And they're going to be talking about housing because as cities grow, people need somewhere to live. More job opportunities in higher value sectors would be a good thing. I think graduate retention in Manchester would be a really good thing. Um, but I don't think that the benefits would necessarily spill out to people on the lowest income. We need to have those opportunities for Birmingham residents first and foremost to apply for those jobs. I would want to see maybe our children of today in Greater Manchester and maybe in graduates in Greater Manchester see them benefit from the professional jobs and not so much the people that are already in those professional jobs. I'd rather take public transport over the driving around the city just because of the amount of congestion. I try to take the bus at least as possible. If I can take the tram there, I'll do that. Um, but the buses are, I just don't feel safe. Currently, on what I get, I'm not going to be able to afford public transport. I'm going to have to spend two hours on the bus every day just to get to uni, never mind getting home. My understanding is that everything's well connected to the city centre, but the other sort of areas are only connected via the city centre. Thousands of council houses, everybody had a house, have all been sold off for privatisation. There are plans to build houses not far from me, and my initial feeling was, oh no, that's the bad place to put it, because it's, a, it's prime agricultural land and it's not a good place to be um, building houses. But I think a lot of people feel that way about their own areas, but we're going to have to suck it up, basically, because people need to live in somewhere. There's no community in the town block. I've lived in the that block I've lived in now 13, 14 years. I only know four people on the entire state. I think that the government wants us to think in terms of more cars, bigger houses, more expensive leisure pursuits and holidays. For me, a prosperous society is a more equal one and one where we're not worried about how to meet our basic needs, housing, food, health, welfare. It's opened my eyes as to just how intertwined everything is. I do think that my views and the views of everyone else here and anyone who has a view um, should be taken seriously when it comes to things like this, influencing policy. Because policy's there for the people, and if the people don't like the policy, then it's not doing its job.